I'm back with another video. So a few people have been leaving some comments on my videos asking how I install my mods. So I thought I'd just give a quick tutorial on how I manually install my mods just to help some people out. So you come to nexusmods.com. This is the main page of Nexus. This is where I pretty much get most of my mods because in the warband days, most mods were posted on ModDB, but I find with Bannerlord, Nexus seems to be the place to go. So you'll want to create an account. Um, I've created a free account. I don't pay for Nexus. And you'll see banner loads on the front page. If it's not on the front page, you can search for it up here. You can do Mountain Blade and like change that to games. Here we sit. And then you can see Mountain Blade banner load just in case it's not on the front page for you. And then here you've got all the mods you want. So, what I like to do sometimes for my mod videos is I like to go to the latest ones. I have a bit of a scroll. I, I, I look to see what ones I think are quite interesting. Um, sometimes I filter these by the last updated ones because a mod I might like um, has got a new update that I thought would be pretty cool to check out. So we'll just find a random mod. We've got improved mercenaries here. We'll take a look at improved mercenaries. And usually it'll give a bit of a description about what version it's for. This, so this is a good way to find out if you've got the right version of Bandload or if it doesn't work with that version. Um, if there's any requirements that the mod needs, some mods need other requirements. So for example, um, I, I did a video on the agriculture one and it says here the agriculture mod requires the Harmony mod. So you need to download Harmony as well to get this mod to work. But if we go to files, you got your files, you got different versions, the previous versions you can download. So you just hit manual download. Um, because I'm a free member, my, my download speed will be capped. Um, but this is just a small mod, so it's not too bad. And boom, we've got a zip file. So we've got our zip file. I've moved it into my its, its own folder. I like to do that just to be a bit more organized. I moved it out of my downloads folder. So because it's a zip file, you're going to need some sort of extraction software, whether it's WinRAR. I prefer to use 7-Zip. Um, it's an open source one that I just like to use. So we'll extract it here. And we're left with this folder. If we open the folder, you'll see there's a sandbox core. So different types of mods have different folders inside. I'll show another mod example that I've downloaded to show you the different types of folders. But here, this mod only edits Sandbox Core. And Sandbox Core is a default Mountain Blade folder that comes with the game. So you got to watch out with mods like these. I'll show you what I mean. So we've got the Sandbox folder, which has a module data, and it has an, just this one XML file because it's altering the troops. It, it's changing base game troops. It's just changing base game XML file. So I'm in Steam now. And if you go to your Steam library, this is the way I like to do it. I find it a bit easier. You click on Bannerlord. And then you right-click Bannerlord, Properties, Local Files, and Browse. And you can see by browsing now, it has taken you directly to where Bannerlord is installed on your hard drive. Uh, if I open up this one next to it. So here we got on the right, we got the mod I installed, the improved mercenaries, and on the left, I've got my Bannerlord. So you want to open the modules folder. And as I said, because this is Ultra and Sandbox Core, we're going to be overwriting Bannerlord's base one. So you've got two options when it comes to modding this style of mod. You can just copy this over and overwrite Sandbox Core. Or if it's a minor change like this, you can see this file. So if we go into Sandbox Core, uh, into Module Data, you can see uh, this is the file it's referring to. Um, so we can create a copy of this file. And then we can change it back when we when we want to remove the mod because it changes a base game file. But 
So you can create a copy of this, put it in a folder or a desktop, and when you want to remove the mod on the right, then paste the old one back in, and you can overwrite it. Um, if the mod has a lot of files to change, it could be a lot to back up, and maybe you don't want to back up all the individual files. So what you can do in that situation is, you've installed a mod, you've overwritten Sandbox or something, and you want to change it back, what you can do is you can right click properties, go back to your local files and verify the integrity of your game files. And what this will do is it'll scan through Bannerlord, it'll pick up certain files and not what they should be, which is the mod ones because they've changed it. And it will re-download the old ones so you can remove the mod that way. And then because this one only alters the normal files, you launch the game, play, and you'll notice your changes in game. So this time, we'll look at the other types of mod I uh, mentioned. So here I've got Agriculture Estate and Harmony. As I showed you earlier, Agriculture Estate needs Harmony to work. So what we need to do is we need to, to get these two files and we need to unzip them like we did previously. And we're left with these, we left with the modules folder and agriculture state. So the way Harmony does it, they put in a modules folder for you. If you open it up, you can see it's Bannerlord Harmony. It's a separate file with its own module. So if you open it up, you'll see if it's got a bin module data. If it's got that inside it, it's usually its own module. If it's named after native sandbox, sandbox core, story mode, or custom battles, if it's one of those five, it overwrites the base game. If it's not one of those five, then it'll be its own separate folder in the modules folder. So what we want to do is we want to copy Bannerlord Harmony over. And if we take a look at agriculture, if we open that up, you can see it's a sub module again. It's its own separate one. It's none of those five files I mentioned. So we just copy that over. So this is inside the modules folder of Bannerlord. As I, as I showed, right-click banner load, properties, browse local files, and you've got your modules here. Once you've copied them in, you're pretty much done. If we launch banner load, so this will pop up your banner load launcher, and if you go to mods, you'll have your list of modules. So you can see it's created a module for every folder. If I reopen this quickly. You can see in my list of modules, every folder in this modules has come up in this list. Um, so some of the mods will tell you on the mod page on Nexus, the order you should have them in um, on this menu. So Harmony, for example, Harmony alters some main like library files, I believe. So Harmony needs to be loaded before the five base banner load files. It needs to launch before it. But for 90% of mods, I think it's safe to say most of them should be loaded after these five um but stuff like harmony um, butterlib uh the mod ui stuff usually that's before but again i just read the description on the mod and usually it'll um give you a better understanding of what you should do and then just to play the mods then you can see you tick them on so for agriculture estate you have to have harmony so tick harmony tick agriculture estate hit play Done. You'll load into your game and your mod is activated. When I do my sharp playthrough, um, I usually use Spear and the Gun mod. So I just tick those two on. When I was doing my Bandit Larry playthrough, I just throw on Freelancer. Some mods are compatible, so some mods you might be able to just put them all on. Um, some mods. So you can see with Agriculture, su surprisingly, I thought this was a bit well done because it, it knows it's a requirement. So if I tick agriculture, it auto turns on harmony for me because it knows it's a requirement. 
And then I untick Harmony and it turns it off because it can't run without it. Whenever you want to go back to your base game then, you just untick the files and hit play and you'll launch it without the mods. Um, it is worth noting with save files. Uh, if I launch the game quickly now. So we're now in Bannerlord. If I hit my saved games, you can see on the right, it will actually tell you what modules you had enabled during that save. Um, this comes in handy because some, you, when you turn off a mod, most of the time, your save will break if you don't have the same mods you had on last time. So here we can see this. If I swap to this one, you can see I was using the Lord of the Rings here. Um, my Bandit playthrough, as I said, I usually have just Freelancer on. So that's just a quick tutorial on how I install mods um, for Bannerlord. I hope this has been of help to you. If there's something I wasn't very clear on, please just let me know and I'll, I'll see if I can make a better video or not. If this has helped you, I'm glad. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, see ya!